Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with another layout. First of all, I want to apologize if my voice sounds a little croaky. Yes, I got a cold again. I was just about done the other one. I was starting to feel better and we had Mason over uh, last Friday night and he woke up at midnight just sick, 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 sick. And I don't know what he had, but every single person in this house got it. <laughs> so whatever he had, it was super contagious because we all got sick, all five of us. Anyway, so I'm still a little stuffy, so hopefully my voice doesn't sound too, too, too bad. But I didn't want to miss another day of uploading a video. I missed last Friday because of this, because I didn't have, you know, a good voice and stuff. So I just thought I would just push through it and uh, upload this video. So again, this is a layout that I got done at the scrapbook retreat that I went back in November. I'm almost done. I think I only have three or four more sort of in my little bank of videos uh, to upload. I, I mean, I just love that I was able to do that because, uh, you know, when I got sick and everything, I had all these videos that were already done. So it worked out great for me. Um, and this one had a little bit of pink and as the background a lighter pink and then a darker pink i took one of the pictures of my daughter and mason we were at the zoo and he was feeding the goats so i just took a picture and um it's a four by four picture that's the size that it was printed at and then i just start playing with the embellishments i just mounted the photo on some black cardstock and I mounted it in the center of the cardstock. Now, my last video, I mounted my photo in the center of the red cardstock and I had someone ask, you know, why uh, do I mount it in the middle and not onto the side? Because then I could mount more than one picture. For me, I don't like to have scraps. I'd rather have a full sheet and have the center gutted out because then I can use that full sheet as a mat for an entire layout. So if I wanted to, and I can't remember if I did or not, but I could cut down that pink pattern paper to about 11 and three quarters by 11 and three quarters and then mount it on the black cardstock. So it's like I'm getting dual purpose for that cardstock. But if I would have cut the picture out of the corner, then I'm left with all these scraps and although I like scrapping with scraps, I don't like having a bunch of scraps. I'd rather have a bunch of page kits that I work with. I put everything in, you know, an area and then I make some other pages with the scraps that I have left over. I don't like putting scraps into my scrapping area. I'd rather just get everything used up. So that's why I do that. That's why I cut in the middle is because I don't like to have a bunch of scraps. I'd rather use everything up and uh, not have things left over. Cause I've noticed over the years, like even <clears throat> when I was packing to move into our new house and I was packing my scrap room, I found a whole bunch of scraps, like just a, you know, a ton and there was no way I was packing that, so it ended up in the garbage. I just threw them all out because I figured they'd been there for, you know, years and years and not used, so chances are I wasn't going to use them. So that's why I like to scrap the way that I do, you know, with either a kit and then from that, well, yeah, that's pretty much how I do it, except now it's not a kit that I you know, got from a kit club. It's a kit that I make myself. I choose my pattern papers and then I choose my embellishments, then make page kits. And then as I'm done making all these pages, then I make some more pages with the leftovers so I don't have leftovers in my scrap room. So anyway, I mounted the photo in black and then I had that pink cards, pink pattern paper that I cut just a little bit bigger. I had a border sticker that I cut in three or four pieces and I'm going to use it as a place to ground 
my embellishment clusters and then I always use something as my embellishment foundation. So for the embellishment cluster near the photo, I have a little tag that I cut into and then I had another embellishment that I laid over top and then I put an arrow over top of that. So I make sure that I layer up my embellishments and then the leftover of the tag, then I put it at the bottom of the layout, again with a piece of that border strip and then another little arrow thing. I think it's an embellishment of some kind and I can't remember what the saying is. And then the top one, I took another little, uh, another little label in the same color and I'm going to put my third cluster at the top. There's not a lot to this layout. I kind of made it so that there's a lot of white space. I'm going to use that little banner strip. I mounted it on some foam tape and those embellishments that I kept peeling off that wax paper is actually some embellishments that I had put together for another layout way, way back, probably a couple years ago. Never got to use them. When I was doing this page kit, I found that wax paper thing full of embellishments, threw it in there with the rest of the embellishments, and this time I got to use it. And that's the thing is, I might not use all the embellishments that I put with a specific page kit as I put them together but when I put them all in a container then as I make more page kits later on with the leftovers of pattern papers then I can pick through those embellishments and I can you know they eventually make it to a layout so I go through my doodle bug stickers I'm going to find the date and put it in that top sticker and I'll have to wait and see when that was I think that was 2000. 2016 if I remember correctly I don't think that was last summer I think yes that was the summer before and then I'm going to take some more letters from those doodlebug stickers and I'm going to stick on their family fun so while I'm finishing that off I just want to remind you that my newest class focus on six by six the sale is ending tomorrow February 15th it's on sale for twenty dollars and also a reminder is I decided to keep my two for one class at $25 so that will stay forever and ever at $25 and I also add a question whether my links ever expire no they will never expire as long as I'm still putting out classes <laughs> so for as long as I'm doing this when you purchase a class the links will not expire and that's it that's going to complete this layout i have to say there's no pictures at the end i just wasn't feeling up to par today to you know take a bunch of pictures but i wanted to make sure that i did put up a video and i just want to remind you if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit subscribe if you're enjoying these videos if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and maybe leave me a comment down below and we will talk to you soon thank you so much for watching bye